our last episode, the notorious Costa Nostra brothers had decided to use Fillmore in their diabolical plot to steal the Faubus flytrap baby. All right, everybody synchronize their watches. I ain't got no watch. Don't worry about the watch. Just blow your bugle. All right. <laughs> Not now. I'll tell you when. All right, men, let's go. And at that very moment, as he did every day, Faubus Flytrap left for the park with Faubus Flytrap Jr. Meanwhile, Waldo and Hoppity, in order to escape from Susan Swivelhips, had disguised themselves. However, the baby got away from them and... What in the world is that? By George, it's a bugle playing bear. Okay, now's the time. Let's go. Now, on a caper like this, split second timing is everything. Uh, hey, fellas, aren't you going to stay and listen to my encore? Look, Fillmore, it's split time. Why don't you get lost? Uh, now, just a minute. Are you guys trying to get rid of me? Yeah, sweetie. All we want you to do is blow. All right. For a minute there, I thought you were trying to get rid of me. Will you get rid of that creep? The uh, creep? Did you think I said creep? <laughs> what I said was bleep. I like the way you make that bleep with your bugle. Yeah, well, what's that in the blanket? Well, as a matter of fact, nothing. Uh, Costra always carries that blanket ever since childhood. You see, he's very insecure. Yeah, it's a substitute for when I used to suck my thumb, see? Uh, there's something moving around in that blanket. Well, that's me, Fillmore. See? No, 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 Mama, 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 mama. Costa, you almost blew our whole kidnapping deal with your stupid dance. Oops. Uh-huh. I knew you two were up to no good. And here all the time, I thought you liked my bugle playing. All right, everybody, back up against that fence. Hurry up. Put your hands up. Not you, stupid. You're one of us. Oh, that's right. I'm one of them. A Ross. Uh, get those hands up. Oh, shut up and see your father's flytrap junior's all right. He's all right, but man, he sure is ugly. This is about the ugliest baby I've ever seen. Look, we didn't kidnap him to enter him in a beauty contest. Bring him over here. Eddie. Oh, Costra. You want to know why the father's flytrap baby is so ugly? You want to know that, huh? Yeah, I'd like to know that, Nostra. Because what you swiped is not the Faubus flytrap baby. What you swiped is a big frog. Impossible. What would a frog be doing in a baby carriage? How do I know? All I know is... The Hoppity! Fillmore! Oh, that figures. These two know each other. Why not? A bugle-blowing bear and a frog dressed up like a baby? Get over against that fence, frog, and not another croak on you. Meanwhile, Waldo and Susan finally arrived at the park. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. After a harrowing experience like that, it's a wonder his hair hasn't turned gray. <laughs> big bug. Kill big bug. <coughs> well, his hair may not have turned gray, but he certainly does look different. Well, he looks different because this baby is not Huppity Hoover. What happened to your voice, dear? Please? Oh, uh, uh, now, now let me explain, Susan. Waldo! What are we gonna do with him, boss? Get rid of him, that's what we're gonna do. Because I got a feeling this frog has a big mouth. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at that, Susan. Hoppity and Fillmore are in real trouble. Well, don't just stand there. Go and save them. I cannot go and save them, Susan. Why not, Waldo? Because you are standing on my skirt. Will Susan and Waldo arrive in time? Tune in to our next episode. Hoppity Hooper's blooper, or Costra Nostra, does the Bossa Nova.